same as you thought Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course Real fans, real talk, we as real as we thought Real fans, real talk, reporting live from the cam High in demand, so please stand by if you can What we got is worth a lot, so put a tie on your plans On court, talking sports through the eyes of the fans With Trip Young, Emma Marie, Eric Sanchez You heard what I said, we elite Check the latest topics and stay ahead of the beat Keep us in your topics and uh-huh. we ahead of the Yo. streets it's Johnny Floss, bringing a different type of blend Backing up Misfit to make sure y'all tuned in You gotta watch, this show is one of a kind Updates on your TV screen from 8 to 9 For the older folks, so even if you younger No matter what sport, this show, we got it covered It's filmed live, in the middle of BK So ain't no better sports show to watch on Thursdays Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course Real fans, real talk, we the illest of course Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought I, I still say we got the best uh, theme song since the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. They not rocking with us. And and and, and 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 Eric, you notice when we start throwing the rappers on the, on the intro song, then everybody else shows on the you know on the majors want to start having rappers doing their theme songs too. But it, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? We we got a lot to get into today. Uh, <laughs> what's what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Real Fans Real Talk. We in Bronx Hill Studios right now, man. I, I love when we get to come come to this side of town, and uh, we got a special guest with us tonight. We're going to talk a lot of boxing tonight. But before we introduce our guest, let me introduce my co host, my brother, Eric Sanchez, a.k.a. Legend in Two Games. What's going on, man? What's really good, man? You already know. This is the, the, this is the official bodyguard of the show. <laughs> For people that don't know, I put the video out years ago and I said, Jess will come to your crib and knock you out if you're not watching the he show. He did say that. And he and did, like, five people already he knocked out because of that. People ain't been answering their doors yeah. ever since. <laughs> yeah, we got to keep it on the. On, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but listen, like I always say, <laughs> We have NFL season, we have NBA season, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. right? We have yes, baseball yes. season. This is boxing season. Mm-hmm. So it's it only is. right to bring in someone as accomplished as Justin Big Tom Biggs for yeah. the show because we have a major fight going down tomorrow night. Yes, and I want, because if y'all notice the bell on the table, right? See, one yes, thing, when we, when, we, when we drove all the way down to Alabama to interview Deontay Wilder, he said the WBC belt is the belt. That's the, that's the one that everybody wants. That's a fact. So I love the fact that you got the belt here with you today. Uh, Big Tom Biggs, Brooklyn is in the building. What's going on, man? Man, I'm feeling great. I'm here with my guys, my brothers, man. You guys are inspiration. When it comes to this podcast space and uh you know people got to recognize and show y'all love and respect so thank you for having me man uh, we appreciate the kind words yes, sir, man yes, i sir. always say i've told trip this <laughs> off air so i'm gonna say it on there mm-hmm. i remember the first time meeting you right and your poise already talking about the direction of your career and you had your family with you your mom was there with you your sister oh. was there with you. i'm like yo this dude <laughs> he, he headed in the right direction yes, yes, you know what i'm yes, saying yes. like he, you already had a, a composure about you mm-hmm. so now to see the things that you're starting to accomplish and will continue to accomplish we salute you as well my brother uh, i think i thank you for that man i had great mentors you know my older brother zab uh so i just kind of got a chance to learn from them so i had a, an advantage in those kind of ways so I, I appreciate it thank you Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you know what? We we gonna jump right into this to this uh-huh. fight because um, Eric and myself, you know, Eric came back up from D.C. specifically so we could hit up the Barclays Center um, to, to watch this Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia fight. It's going down. Um, well, it's Friday night right now, but it's going down tomorrow night. But we're gonna be in the building. Talk to me about Devin Haney mm-hmm. versus Ryan Garcia, and who wins this fight. Oh, you getting right there? I'm we going right. We jumping right you in. I want to know who's gonna win. I right want to know. Okay. I got. We got to ask the champ. Okay. From the outside looking in, I, I believe that there's been a lot of ploys from Ryan Garcia to sell the fight. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's a YouTuber. He's he's a, he's a oh. YouTuber. Well, well, you know, R- Ryan, oh, I, I'm a. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, what they say, that's a harsh criticism. That's what they say about him. He, you know, he, that's how he no, came no, up. No, no, Ryan's a you know a 15 time national champion. Mm-hmm. But I believe he's someone that we're seeing become distracted because a lot happened for him at first. And as of Devin Haney's distractions, we don't see. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he's not distracted at all. Um, I would bet my house that uh, Devin Haney will win the, the fight. <laughs> you know, um, I feel about gambling. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but, I, I I like that. <laughs> but those gloves are very small. Ryan's a puncher, and Ryan is better than people think. And those first four or five rounds, 
you have to get out of there. If you look at when he fought Tank, Tank he had Tank hurt. He had Tank a lot holding. of pressure early. Tank couldn't even be offensive. Mm. And then for some reason, he slowed down. Right? Now, was it because of the, the, the weight drain situation or was that an excuse? So we're going to have to see if Devin's able to slow him down, uh, uh, avoid that savage attack in the beginning. The hand speed is very fast. And in my, in my opinion is this. If Ryan Garcia has developed the uppercut, if Ryan Garcia can keep his hands up and not get overhand shots, I'm going to have to see Devin have a killer instinct. Because when you hurt that kid, you have to get rid of that kid. I'm so happy you said that. Mm-hmm. Because I think, and I, I do believe Devin Haney wins this fight. Yeah. But I think everyone's being very dismissive of the tools right. that Ryan Garcia has. Yeah. Yeah. He has a length advantage in this fight. Mm-hmm. And I think the hand speed is probably better than Devin Haney's. Yeah. yeah so if yeah, he yeah. fights a disciplined fight, I think he can give Devin some problems. Yeah. But I want to ask you, we know about the tools. Derek James, this is only a second fight with Ryan. Mm-hmm. Do you feel there's enough of an impact to change those bad habits that you mentioned? Um. Yeah, because I think it's things that are... Uh, he, he's been doing making his mistakes for a long time, but they've been working. I mean, we're judging somebody off of the, the truth. One of the faces of boxing that has a nuclear bombs. When we were coming up, Tank was knocking everybody out. Tank was knocking dudes my size out. Tank yeah. uh, uh, was an animal, offensive animal, defensive uh, master, mm. right? Um, so you're judging him off of that, and now we're going to see... I believe Devin is should very well be in the pound for pound le- uh, list. I believe he's very talented, but he's going to have to hurt Ryan Garcia mm. to beat him. I don't believe it'll be a, a fight where uh, he'll be able to just totally out trick him for 12 rounds. And uh, he has to get away from those punches. It reminds me of a guy I used to spar one of my team members, uh, my man Chop, right? Chop is a great fighter. I think he's going, he might have earned a spot in the Olympic team, right? Me and Chop used to spar when he was about 16. And um, he he used to give me a lot of, a, lot, a lot of trouble because he punched so hard. He was super duper fast. He had an amazing uh, one two three, which is a jab right hand left hook, and he could knock you out with either hand. And the only way I can I could get momentum is I had to really crack him. <laughs> if I'm backed up and tried to be defensive, I get hit on top of my head. I get I can get hurt. I had to press him, go into the fire and go to the body and catch him with something that's going to make him respect me. So can Devin do that? I believe so. But if he gets hurt doing something he's not used to, he's, to me, he's going to have to do something he's not used to doing. Mm. Right? It's a key phrase. Go into the fire. Go into the fire, get behind the elbows, go to the body, and stay and stay in there. Hurt, hurt that kid with something. Let me, let me, let me ask you this. <clears throat> Because leading up to the fight, uh, Ryan, Ryan Garcia has been has been going in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you talked about the promo, but you know, I want I want to talk to you about when keeping the real goes wrong, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, he, he Ryan Garcia. I don't know if he's dealing with some things mentally yeah. right now, but he was he's been talking crazy. Uh, you know, he, he put out a diss track versus <laughs> versus yeah, Devin yeah. Haney, and um, he he even went on a whole campaign. And I know now we we have this whole the whole uh, pause no Diddy thing right now. <laughs> he was wearing a t shirt with uh, Devin Haney hanging out with Diddy and tried to kind of like throw him into mm-hmm. those type of accusations. So my question is, at what point is, you know, selling a fight going beyond just selling the fight? This is like the first time I've ever seen thing, heard, seen and heard things where I was like, dang, this might be too far. Um, and too far because I think it's just off-putting. And um, I'm trying to understand Ryan's angle. Yeah. One is like, wow, have these things tr- truly happened? He's experiencing these things. And... uh He's someone that fa- fame hit him really hard. And all the things we heard about, remember all those YouTube videos mm-hmm. about Industry Exposed? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's really real and Ryan has gone through it. Um, or is it just, is it a ploy to sell tickets? I believe some of it is a ploy because it's not a fight that I believe should happen right now. Mm-hmm. I'm truly not really, my interest has happened within the last two days. I'm not really interested in it um, because for, for, for a plethora of reasons, right? 
Ryan had that good win against that guy that, you know, uh, Duran or somebody, I forgot his name. Uh, he's recently knocked out. Mentally now, I believe that Devin is not going to get credit for this win. Because mm. they're going to say he's a crazy man. <laughs> yeah. If Ryan knocks him out, uh, it's like you got knocked out by a crazy guy. So if I was Devin, I would have pulled out the fight. I, I believe that Ryan... Mm -hmm. At what point it's too late to pull out of the fight? I would have pulled out as soon as he talked about uh, this, the stuff that was too far mm -hmm. with, the kid, with the kids. Yeah. I would have pulled out because... You know, you're, it's, I'm fighting a crazy guy. He needs mm -hmm. about, like, like, like Floyd told him, right? I think Ryan needed to go beat Roley, knock him out. Mm -hmm. You know, if he could have knocked Roley out, I believe there was time for Roley. Roley's getting I mean, him everybody's knocking Roley out now, so. I, <laughs> well, but, I mean, but to be fair, I mean, Roley... Yeah. Roley's been doing it himself, but <laughs> Pitbull is a lot better than people realize. No, he is. Pitbull's a beast. Yeah, people yeah, aren't yeah. giving Eastside Cruz yeah. the credit he deserves. Yeah. He's one of the few guys that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tank for 12 rounds, and Tank and couldn't knock him down, yeah. couldn't back him yeah, up. Yeah. Eastside is nasty, bro. Eastside yeah. got young legs. He's a young guy. See, it's a difference. Like, when you're in there with a guy you got to teach to lose, and he has young legs, and he's not. You know, Loman, like, like, this is a good fight for, for Devin if... Ryan was in the right mind set, mm -hmm. and he had got a, he had beat, uh, came back with that guy. Then he knocked out Roley. I'd have gave him like two or three more fights. Probably beat Isak Cruz, got mm -hmm. a belt. I'd have felt like it'd have been a better fight. Do you think this is then more of a money grab for Devin Haney because this was outside of Tank? This is probably going to be the biggest fight that he's going to get, and technically he's not even the A side on the fight. There's always a money grab on this level. I mean, I, I think I think that Devin wants to be seen as a great fighter, and he de he he deserves to be recognized. But mm -hmm. I don't believe this is um this was the move to make. I believe that uh I would have said, "Yo, look, how about this? Have Matias get a big win, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. Let Matias <laughs> beat um." Let's see if Patias could beat be Regis Progre, right? Right. Okay. And maybe he would have been able to do it in better fashion, which I love Regis, right? Uh, and then, Devin, go fight him. Beat the boogeyman. Ryan, you go ahead and fight Roley. So now you have two wins. That stain of the whole tank situation, I don't, I don't believe in Ryan. I don't think anybody really does. Yeah. So, if. Know? Do you think there's a possibility that after tomorrow night, let's say outside of all the antics, yeah. because they started very early in the fight. Ryan Garcia, we know he was the one who leaked the footage right, of right, the yeah. tank, uh, Devin Haynes yeah, sparring, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Ryan comes out and has a really good performance, do we then look at Devin Haney differently and say, all right, aside from all the antics, he fought a good fighter, he handled his business, and now his value is the highest it's ever been? Because, like as you mentioned, Matias... Right, mm -hmm. he beat Progress and he dominated him, but you got Matias available. You possibly got Isak Cruz available. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know what's going to happen with the Tank fight, even though Devin has said himself, you know, it's got to happen at some point. Yeah. So, do you think for Devin, he probably looking at it like, hey, look, I just need to beat this guy, and as long as he's respectable in the ring, I come out as a winner of this publicly. I, I don't. I mean, okay. So, if you if we do you okay so. Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis, right? Okay. If I told you right tomorrow you saw Ryan Garcia just came in the, r the ring and took a knee and didn't fight, would you be surprised? If Ryan Garcia <laughs> walked out the ring, would you be surprised? If he walked out the ring, I would, I'm not going to lie, I would be surprised. If he quit, would you be surprised? No, I wouldn't be surprised. He's, he's, it's, it's too volatile of a situation. Yeah. And at some point, you know, I would have said no. No, I just yeah. think because if he, yeah, yeah. he were to walk out the ring, his career is over. And he, and he's a very young and like let's not get it twisted. Yeah. It's a, and, and maybe to your point, yeah. there's so much going on with him mentally that he may be done with the sport. Yeah. But if he were to walk out the ring, yeah, his career is over at that moment. We, I mean, there yeah, would be no coming back from that. He he is he is he is that. So he 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 he's is a big go, draw though. He's golden boy right now. He he Oscar is. Yeah. Oscar is, is saying seven Hail Marys tonight, hoping. <laughs> it's no, it's a fact. Yeah, yeah. They got it they got it ready though. You know what they're gonna say? You know, you know already it's gonna be listen, he's young, he was under a lot of mental duress. We all saw it. Why didn't it people are gonna say tomorrow, why didn't anyone stop 
the fight from happening. No one loves Ryan Garcia. Does it? It's it's, it's already. No, I mean, the same, this, those, it's crazy yeah, you say that because Trip and I were having a conversation. I was driving up. What did I say to you? We, we're going to be in the building tomorrow. And I said, yeah, yeah. We, we might need to prepare that this fight doesn't go down. Yeah. Because shout out to Dan Raphael, who's a respected boxing journalist. Mm-hmm. He was tweeting during the whole fiasco today during the weigh-in. Mm-hmm. The three pounds overweight, the just the crazy like Drunk. outburst yeah. from, from Ryan Garcia. Yeah. And he even put in a tweet, I'm hoping he hasn't deleted it yet, but it was there, where he said Golden Boy was having internal conversations as to whether this fight should even happen tomorrow. Yeah. It's not a, it's he, he is, I mean, listen, he, he makes up a lot of, I'd imagine the revenue of Golden Boy. You know, yeah. you have, you have, you have Virgil Ortiz who's had health issues. Munguia is in the balance, right? Munguia, Munguia who has a big he, fight coming up next he, month. Yeah. But he doesn't, he doesn't speak English. Right. Right. Oh uh, yeah. So marketability is, so yeah, is a what, challenge. What are we, you know, we have Barbosa's over there, but he's not a, a big star right now. So what are we watching? Gold, golden boy for right now you know you need, just, you need just a, Ryan you need a strong Mex- Mexican lead so to put him in there yeah you'll have the you'll have the excuses which are prepared right but then on the back end it's like it looks bad it looks like you let someone with mental health go in there and get hurt and yeah. what if he really gets hurt yeah because and, he's you know and people have been talking about mm-hmm. his mental health uh, the past couple of weeks mm-hmm. um, let, let me ask you this mm-hmm. the fact that they're not fighting for the belt anymore because Ryan was, I think, three pounds over yeah. the weight. How does does that now change this fight? Um, you know, people people create things now, so it's kind of like, you know, if if you like me and I'm popular enough and I receive and you 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 know you guys like me, so if you find oh yo man Justin couldn't get the fight with Fundora, so now Justin is world champion through email. You guys are gonna be happy for me. I'm popular, you know, it's all good. Um, your popularity is gonna determine whether the belt really matters. Mm, so okay. if he knocks out Ryan Gar- Garcia tomorrow, I mean, uh, Devin Haney tomorrow, oh, he will, well, he was overweight, but he really is the champion because he knocked and out I, the champion. That's what I don't like about it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but this is what happens when you let, um, and it's a lot of guys, you know, the social media makes someone a champion. In reality, that's a fact. He, he's the big, one yeah. of the biggest stars in boxing. But that's but that's why I, mm-hmm. why I ask because if if we're, we're talking about the mm-hmm. A side and the B side of mm-hmm. the fight, and Ryan Garcia is the A side, but going in, I would say that Devin Haney is the favorite to win this fight. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So see, social media can definitely change yeah. how we how we look at these fighters, which is which is kind of crazy because it's really just it just come down to wins and losses, and that's yeah. it. But yeah. that's the time we're in. I don't like that they took the belt off the table because yeah, one it's one is unfair to Devin Haney. You've trained hard. You, he did everything he was supposed to do. Yeah, he came in at weight, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now. Right, it's it's almost like if you prepared all week, your team against my team, you prepared all week. Yep. And now I tell you, oh, but there's nothing on the line anymore. Your natural instinct is to kind of ease up now. Like, all right, well, I'm we're not I, fighting for anything. Because I'm not gonna lose my belt. Right, I'm, I can't mm-hmm. lose anything. And so to your point of social media, mm-hmm. so if Ryan Garcia just keeps it interesting, mm-hmm. people will say, well, Ryan Ryan could have been a champ. Yeah, yeah. He, he, that's he, gonna maybe, be a narrative he, that right. comes out. And that that part I don't like. I, I think I would have loved for them to at least work something out behind the scenes. But I understand it from Devin's point of view as well. Mm-hmm. Like there's got to be some sort of penalty. I can't allow you to not only be three pounds overweight today. You would know this better than us. Mm-hmm. With the rehydration, he's probably going to be a good eight to ten pounds heavier than Devin tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, oh no 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 no. De- Devin's. You don't think be, so? No no. Devin's going to be like one hundred and sixty something pounds. That was the best thing Ryan could have did. I would have told Ryan. Mm. I would have told Ryan, "Yo, coming at one fifty. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not one fifty. No, I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm being real because, yo, yo, check it out, right? So my so man, my homie. Explain okay. for the people that might not understand okay. so, how that works with the rehydration. So with rehydration, a lot of guys make a weight, and then they get very, very big. So Roy Jones talked about he used to use that tactic. So um, an average man. So if I'm making 154 pounds the night of the fight, me personally. I'm going to be maybe 162 pounds, right? Other guys walk around at 190 pounds, squeeze down, get to 154, and then they're trying to punch me in the head on the night of the fight at 170-something pounds. Closer to their natural weight, yeah. right? Hence, Floyd was a puncher at 
130, 135, even 140. Even 140, but right? When he got good. bigger. We didn't realize that Miguel Cotto was 100 and some, 70 right. some pounds. <laughs> and he and Floyd was hydrated at 159 pounds. Yeah. Canelo's been amazing at that as well. Because Canelo early in his career was fighting at welterweight. Yeah. And he was not a welterweight. <laughs> the, but, but what these guys are doing, they're losing weight, putting Abilene on, getting. You, how far? You, you're at 150 now. We got to get to 140 tomorrow. Okay. We're going to put the hotel room at 100 degrees. You're going to lay down with Abilene on and eight towels and you're going to sit here and you're going to sweat this off and then you're going to drink some Pedialyte <laughs> or, or do IV drips which is another thing guys are doing and you're going to come in there at uh, you know like Chavez used to come in there at 100 and he was fighting at 160 and when he hit uh, what was my man named Mar uh, uh, Mar Martinez remember Martinez Sergio Sergio, Sergio Martinez yeah. right hit him with that one shot but that guy had gained 25 pounds the next day and mm. people don't believe it. So if he hits you one good time with a shot like that. Yeah. <sighs> so you think, you think Devin's coming in tomorrow at around 160? I would, yeah, yeah. So, so 140, I, I think last time he came in pr pretty big. So I think Devin, Devin's going to be about close to 160. What do you think Garcia is going to be at? I don't know. I really haven't done the, the history of, of Garcia, but. Because he was, he was, I think, at one, I want to say 150, 152 when he fought Tank. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna. He had a lot of trouble with the with the weight, and then trying to stay within the rehydration. He'll probably clause. be about one fifty five, but I think I think Devin will be in around the one sixties. It'll even out the fight. I actually okay, think. it'll be a better fight. L let me ask you this: Devin Haney wins. Where does he go next? Ryan Garcia wins. Where does he go next? Ryan Garcia is, is be the biggest thing, uh, the biggest villain in boxing. He'll be he'll be he'll be a huge star. I mean, it'll be like even without winning the belt. He'll be he'll be like what's most man what's homie from uh, WWE uh, Roman Reigns. Yeah, he'll be like him or the <laughs> or the nightmare guy. He'll be the man. Yo, can you imagine if he did all of this and said, "F you guys, we don't have, I don't have to do that. I could party. I could drink. I I can uh I can drink alcohol. I could do all these things, and I'm just gonna knock dude out. He would be the man. Yeah. He actually, I mean, for marketability purposes, it'd be better mm -hmm. tomorrow if you won, because we're not. Uh, this is a character now, right? Yes. It's a joke. Yes. Yep. He's, which is why, why you know why I used to like six nine. It was like the Joker <laughs> right. running around. He's, he's it's fun. You know what I mean? Like you're like, dang, this is entertaining. Yeah. So for boxing, if if Devin wins. It's you know it's it's Bill Haney is gonna keep talking and pushing the narrative and mm -hmm. you know we we like Devin, but as far as um, we'd have to like see a real documentary about Devin's life and but other than that it's just excellence it's like yo excellence you did great yeah. good, um, but this kid Ryan is truly truly captivating, mm -hmm. right? You know? So he's, he's entertaining yeah and in his own way I've never seen anything like this uh, ever I've never seen anybody talk about these type of subjects he's a good guy but then he's kind of like a bad guy it's just pretty incredible I want to ask you about another guy from Brooklyn because they have a common opponent him and Devin Haney mm -hmm. Tiafimo Lopez yeah. now <laughs> I would love to see Tiafimo and Devin fight mm -hmm. styles make fights and I think just the style wise I think it would just be great Mm -hmm. Do you think that could ever be a possibility for Devin Haney, or do you think that's something that maybe because Tiafimo is a bigger guy mm -hmm. at that junior welterweight level, right? Right. That Devin may say, "Nah, he's just, you know, it just doesn't make sense for me." Yo, Dev is such like a thing about Dev is that he, he knows who he knows who Devin is. He's been trained by like uh, the best. He knows his identity. And that is a horrible fight for Tiafimo Lopez. Wow. And okay. It's, and it's not a good tell me, fight. You got to tell me why now. It's not a good fight. You're not, I wouldn't. I don't want to watch that fight. Um, Tiafimo Lopez, unless he learned his that last fight he had, right? With uh, Josh Taylor. Yeah. I feel like Devin is satisfied with landing a jab. He's satisfied with moving. Okay. Not worried about engaging. Engaging. He does not want to get hit. And he's going to move around. He's going to jab. If the fight is on the zone, they're going to pra you know they're going to they, they're going to praise their guy. Yeah, he has favor there, and um, it'll be it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Devin. You know, Devin the Dream Haney. You know, uh, and and that'll be it. Um, 
he's not gonna stay there and engage with this guy he just wants to win he doesn't he doesn't want to knock you out doesn't care if you get knocked out you get knocked out but yeah that's not what he's going in there to do and Tiafimo needs to counter you he needs to, he works off a lot of cuts and explosive movements and as we saw last time the guy moved moved so much now if that was Devin in there with him yeah Oh man, they would have been, yo, Devin destroyed him and like just like with Cambosis, you know, it was kind of a similar type of thing. Cambosis gave him more opportunities because he didn't have that TNT. Right. Cambosis, yes. He he doesn't have yeah. much power beyond the punch. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it, so he was able to stay there a little more, but no, he's gonna go in there and and, and try to box TFMO shorts off. It's not an entertaining fight. <clears throat> why why Tank won't fight him? Tank won't fight who? Why? Why the tank, the fight with Tank and Devin Haney hasn't happened? I think it's gonna happen. But yeah. I think they, they, I think they're both looking for the business side of it. I think they're trying to promote. it. They're trying to build it up to a point mm -hmm. where it becomes like this is it. This is yeah. the the fin this is the finality. There are yeah. so many great fighters at 140 and 147, uh -huh. and maybe great isn't the right term to use. There are a lot of name recognition type guys there yeah. that they can go so many different directions. They're gonna wait, I think. I, I could see that fight happening in two years. It's gonna have to, it's, either, you know, Devin will have to, he's probably most likely, the only person that can probably stop him um, will be like, other than Tank, it would be Shakur Stevens. Okay. Because they sparred, he knows him. Shakur can, will be able to box, box with him on that level, land certain shots, right? Um, for Tank to take that fight, Tank is a, is a smaller guy. It, it wouldn't help him, really, right, in the long run. Mm -hmm. He's already doing a million pay-per-view buys. Mm -hmm. um, and he has to hit Devin with something. Yeah. Because, you know, t I think he... He connect. He throws like thirty seven punches yeah. per, per per round, right? It's the lowest punches per round, yeah. but the highest connect rate, and, and it's which like which is crazy. He has yeah. the, he has the second highest knockout yeah. rate, ninety three percent. Let me let, let me get your take on this, Justin. Mm -hmm. So, and when we're talking to a potential Tank versus Devin Haney fight, mm -hmm. right? I feel like if I'm if I'm Tank, the bag is not where it could be because Devin Haney doesn't have that status. Yeah. Boxing wise, yes. He's that, that I would say that's the big three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. take D Haney and, and Shakur Stevenson. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the fan base mm -hmm. is just not there. And I think that fight could be worth so much more if Devin Haney's profile was a little bit higher. I think yeah. this fight helps. It would have helped more if Ryan Garcia didn't um, miss the miss weight and in the, in the, we they were fighting for the belt mm -hmm. just because you you get the Ryan Garcia fans, but I think he, his profile has to be built up higher before they can make that tank fight. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 absolutely. I think you know we'll look. They're they you know they're kind of hoping boxing purists that it becomes like a Floyd Mayweather type of situation mm -hmm. where yeah. he, he's just judged on excellence and it's like yo this is jazz we're watching <laughs> and you know nobody can touch him nobody can beat him he's just winning yeah um, regardless of the uh, uh, of the knockouts and things like that but what you know what makes it worth Tank's while wow? is it that the the, the public is clamoring for, for right. so much yeah or is it that there's a hundred million dollar bag there for him and I don't really you know the guy uh, from Turkey, uh, the, the stone all these events, does he put up the money to where it's like, yo, here's a hundred million dollars. Um, but I was going to put the money up, but I said, you know what? I'm going through some things right now financially, so I couldn't do it. Yeah. Trip was trying to liquidate <laughs> his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Everything right. And it said, yo, we're going to do it. Yeah. But I, I mean, to, uh -huh. to double down on that, right? So I love Tank. Yeah. I think Tank is phenomenal. Right. But I want to get your opinion on this because Tank is more name than mm -hmm. anything. And that's not a knock against Tank. Like the performances we've seen him, mm -hmm. the knockouts. He's not a world champion, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if you're Devin Haney, it's like, what are we doing this for? If it's really just for the bag, okay, we're doing it for the bag, but we're not doing it for belts. This isn't to unify any division, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Do you feel that Tank maybe needs to go out there and just become a world champion and solidify a belt and then say, look, not only am I the bigger name, but I'm also bringing this belt to the table. Tank is incredible. He is. Tank I, is, I agree. Tank, Tank is everything they say he is. Yeah. Um, this Frank Martin fight is a very tough fight. Mm, this Frank is, this, this is, 
this is a hard fight. And it's his third young guy with young legs that wants to win. And if Tank goes ahead and knocks out Frank Martin, that's miraculous. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, De- Devin stopping Ryan would be dope. But at the end of the day, it would be kind of like, oh, well, was he really, you know, and I think and I think maybe Ryan is sabotaging him. Maybe he just doesn't like him that much. He's like, I'm going to just say I'm crazy. So when, if you do win, that wasn't really credit because he knows that. But this fight between Tank and, and, and Frank Martin, like you got like you got to really I, I, I was saying uh, maybe Tank ain't really. But offensively, defensively, I mean, you know, Leo Santa Cruz, comatose one punch knockout. Yes. Ryan Garcia knocked out, knocked mm-hmm. out with a body shot. Mm hmm. He beat Pitbull Cruz, who was running through everybody. Now we know how good Pitbull Cruz mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Mario Barrio stopped Ugas. Yeah. And then 140. And, um, and Tank destroyed he had, him. He has the best resume. Yeah. To me. That, yeah. Mm, okay. He, 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 clear, clearly. Now, you know, my Ryan has uh, uh, my, Luke Campbell. He has Luke Campbell on there. Yeah. He's obviously got the fight. Ryan yeah. Garcia got the fight with Tank on there as well. That's the fresh. That's the fresh guy he has, mm-hmm. and he beat yeah. that. You know, um, Devin has. You know, he beat Loma, Lomachenko. Loma. Fight was a little bit, but he got. He got past. You think that. he beat Loma? I I get I get I get I had first thought that Loma was going to get the victory. I can see how a judge would give it to him. Yeah, it wasn't egregious, but I I felt like Loma was kind of. Pressing the action, I think he right. scored a bit more, um, but look, he did he 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 did really good. Um, and then, you know, but to me, Tank got the you know he's he's vanquished guys. The only guy he didn't yeah. vanquish was Cruz, and he's That's he's it. probably gonna yeah. go in there and knock Frank Martin out. Frank Martin just had you know beat an Olympian, so a yeah. really good Olympian. So you know, I think he's the guy to beat. Let's let's we we know we all in agreement. We got Devin Haney. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got right. that. Yeah, yeah. Aside yeah. from the circus just getting completely crazy, and and, and yeah, yeah. Let, let's go up and wait a little bit uh-huh, uh-huh. before we wrap up. Canelo Alvarez, in your opinion, is he ducking David Benavidez? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, I go we, absolutely. We going there, we going because there. we gotta go there. We we have to because I've I've been saying this for years. Benavides would, would really hurt Canelo Alvarez. Mm. Um, the kid is. Oh, my mother-in-law. She <laughs> she shed a tear. My mother-in-law loved Canelo. You don't but, need to. It, it'll be like it'll be like Oscar Chavez. It'll be really, it'll be really bad. Um, the first one or the second one? Because remember the first one, Oscar bloodied him, and then the second one he made him quit. Both of them together. Ooh. It'll, I, don't, I don't I don't see Canelo Alvarez quitting, but he'll be he'll be locked. It's like so he'll have handcuffs on. So yeah. it's like when somebody is that offensive. And they can lean back, and they're so tall, and you just miss the shot. And he's gonna throw four or five six. Right, yeah. And Canelo doesn't throw punches really, and he's a guy with like the kick a punch, either hand he's geared yeah. up, and he just knocked out Demetrius Andre. It was Demetrius Andre is a freaking Olympian. It was a, I mean, a great yeah. fighter. The way he dismantled Demetrius and Caleb, Caleb Plant. Plant. Yeah, I mean, yeah. remember Caleb Plant for nine rounds gave Canelo a lot of trouble. Yeah. And Benavidez walked him down at pretty much after the third round. He just walked him down the rest of the fight. He can't. Benavidez cannot be stopped at 168 pounds. Mm. Nobody's doing it. Maybe that kid Morel yeah. with, a, with, a, with a lucky shot because I think that Morel is so offensive that he doesn't even, he hasn't even understood that, like, I could be hurt. Yeah. So maybe he comes in there and lands something good, but nobody, no, nobody's beating him at. He's too big, too strong, too confident right now at that weight. Um, so, yeah, um, I think Canelo's going to let him yeah. go to 178. He's going to stay, stay at 68. Do, okay, so do, at some point, obviously we want, want to see the Benavidez fight, but at some point, do you think we see Canelo versus Crawford? If Crawford goes ahead, yeah. If he goes and ahead. And if we do, who wins? Crawford will stop Canelo Alvarez. Wow, okay. Yeah, for sure. Um be, because you know you gotta look at like look at kind of what Floyd did to Canelo. Yeah. Canelo is basically picked relative. him apart. Yeah, from what I heard from Crawford, I know a couple guys that sparred, sparred him. They're like, "Yo, 
his power is ridiculous. They said like, yo man, he mm. was 16 zone and he's very crafty. The dismantling Errol Spence was not a fluke. I, yeah. yeah. Um, that guy is just that good. I still think that was the most impressive. We ever. talked about it. When That's we, the most impressive thing I've when, ever seen. When we were virtual, we talked about that. Yeah. yeah. I've never, and you got the text message to prove it. I said, <laughs> I've never seen a guy struggle to gauge distance yeah. as much as Errol Spence did in that fight. Like Crawford set up punches so beautifully mm -hmm. throughout the fight. And you look back, how many times was Errol Spence swinging at air? Yeah. He couldn't gauge distance. He couldn't do anything with him. He couldn't, ga he couldn't figure out the distance in yeah. the fight. And yet it wasn't. For the casual fans, it wasn't Crawford dancing around or running around the ring. No, yeah, no, it yeah. was, it was, it was. You know, he's on the Mount Rushmore Walter weights. You know, you could argue, you could argue that Terence Crawford was better than Floyd Mayweather mm -hmm. at Walter weight. We go, we go, we gonna have to get it. We gonna, uh, we gonna stop. Yeah. We got to stop right there. Set up another episode. We gotta stop because right because that, that'll take us into a whole another episode. We gotta stop right there with that one. Um, Justin, give us a final thought, man. Uh, man, I'm just uh, guys. Thank you for having me. Love talking boxing with you guys and sports. And uh, man, you know, look, look out for me. I'll be back at it in July for for a title defense. And uh, nice, that's about it. Eric, yeah. final thought. <laughs> now we definitely got to get just back on before the title defense in July. Yeah. And we were talking off air. We won't put it out there for the masses, but we were talking off air on something that we would love to collaborate mm -hmm. with yes. the big family on in yeah. terms of boxing. You know, because we love that's these type it. of conversations, man. The insight, yeah. you know, the intellect. This is a young man who who really grew up in the sport. Yes, 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 yes. For y'all casual fans out there, he really know the sport. Mm -hmm. um, but no, always, um, thank you to all the supporters. We appreciate mm -hmm. it, man, and, and we're looking forward to so many more episodes. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to have to call, call up Hex, see if we can get back in here before that before that, before that fight goes down in, in July. Shout out to Bronx yes, Till Studios. Uh, my man, Heck, uh, we appreciate you so much, man, for having us back in the studio. It's good to, you know, because I... I I'm actually right now where I'm living at the Bronx. I'm actually only like five minutes away from from Bronx Sale Studios. Right. So I appreciate you, Heck, for having us again. And um, with that being said, make sure you guys are following us on all our social media. One more thing, mm -hmm. yeah, I just remembered. Uh -huh. Got to shout out my man Will Gordon. This is birthday today. Happy shout birthday, Will Gordon. Will Gordon. What it do, baby? Yeah, what it do, baby? <laughs> one, of the, one of the biggest supporters of the show. He rock with us every Facts. day, and then we do our thing sure. on the Sanchez show. Yes, yes, yes. So shout out to my man Will Gordon. Happy, as well. bur happy birthday, uh, Will Gordon. Make sure you guys are following us on all our, all our social media, uh, Instagram and Twitter at Real Fan Talk, Facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk. Subscribe to that YouTube channel, YouTube.com forward slash For the Fans Productions. And don't worry if you're not in New York City and you can't watch us Thursday nights on Verizon Forty Three from 8 to 9 p.m. Hit up that website, realfansrealtalk.com. Uh, click that red button on the homepage, and you can watch us from anywhere in the world. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe to both the Sanchez Show and the Real Fans Real Talk podcast, streaming on all major platforms. Hold up. Big time. The podcast. Oh, yeah. You guys, uh, check check my podcast out, Bigs vs. Bigs, on all, uh, all platforms. Uh, Revolt. It's a great show about boxing, and you guys can follow me at Big Time Bigs on Instagram. Yeah, they, they you know, he, Big Time told us he, he wanted us to come on the podcast, they so I'm waiting on that. On. Now I feel good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now, now I'm up. Now it's up. Um, but, <laughs> but uh, yes, man, we appreciate you guys so much. If y'all gonna be at the Barclays Center, man, come up, holla at us, man. Come take a shot with us tomorrow. We're gonna be in the building, um, going to see that Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia fight. With that being said, for myself, Trip Young, my brother, my co-host Eric Sanchez, aka Legend in Two Games, and the champ. Justin Big Time Biggs. Brooklyn is in the building. We up out of here. Peace. We as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk. We the illest of course. Real fans, real talk. We the illest of course. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought. Real fans, real talk. We pour it live from the cam. High in demand, so please stick to Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 